Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the features of a tropical storm. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. The photo on the screen is a satellite image that shows a swirling wind and cloud around the calm eye of the storm. In the last video, we talked about how tropical storms form and develop. The winds start to spin upwards due to the Coriolis effect, which is the effect of the Earth's axis. And in the centre of the storm, there is the eye, where the conditions are calm. This is formed by the cool air sinking, creating a zone of high pressure, leading to calm, drier conditions. So let's have a look at the Coriolis effect in more detail. The reasons that tropical storms spin is due to the Coriolis effect, which bends and spins warm rising air. You can see the spinning really clearly on satellite images. In the northern hemisphere, hurricanes bend to the right, which makes the clouds swirl anti-clockwise, whereas in the southern hemisphere, cyclones bend to the left and swirl clockwise. So what is the Coriolis effect? Well, the wind blows from high pressure zones to low pressure zones, but they blow in a curve rather than a straight line due to the Coriolis effect. And this happens because of the curvature of the Earth. The Earth has to spin much faster at the equator than at the poles because it is so much wider. The difference in spin speed causes the winds to bend as it blows across the Earth. On the screen you have a cross section of a structure of a tropical storm. As you move across a tropical storm you will find the following conditions. The temperature and the air pressure will drop at the beginning of a tropical storm. This will cause air to rise and clouds to form and the winds will start to pick up. The tropical storm continues which results in the air pressure falling more rapidly. The wind will increase and cumulonimbus clouds will form. This will lead to heavy rainfall. In the centre of the storm, the conditions are calm with no wind or rain. This is called the eye of the storm. The sun is able to get through here so it is warmer. However, air pressure is very low. On the other side of the eye, the wind and rain dramatically increases again. The temperature drops and the air pressure starts to rise. And at the end of the tropical storm, there is a rise in pressure and temperature and winds and rain will decrease. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the features of a tropical storm. Thank you for watching.